Hello and welcome to another week of On the Edge, your viewer's guide to our programming on the online video source of the Big South Conference, the Big South Edge. And uh, let's share with you uh, first a reminder of what we're doing here with the Edge. You can order by the game, by the sport, uh, by the season, by the year. So annual packages get you everything that the Big South does for a full calendar year. Seasonal gets you everything within a range of time, like the spring will get you baseball and softball, or if you just want one sport, you can get every baseball event or softball event by the sport, or if you're looking for a specific game, of course, we always have that hundreds of events from across the Big South, the Big South Conference online video source, The Edge, presented by State Farm at BigSouthSports.com. So with that said, let's have a look at what's going on uh, this week, and you know, I, I'll admit, I was tempted to not to, to not do this this week because there's only a few events, and they're only in one sport, but I'm not going to sell them short on baseball because we do have a good week of baseball ahead of us. In fact, we've got eight games for you. It starts on what, Wednesday the 18th, College of Charleston at Coastal Carolina, and Georgia Southern at Winthrop. And then uh, nothing on Thursday. Friday through Sunday, a pair of in-conference three-game series all three games at both sites on the edge, and uh, that's a good reminder, perhaps, that we also have a different package available for baseball subscribers, a weekly package in which you can get uh, every baseball game for a full week for the price of only about two, a nine ninety five package that would get you everything you see here on the column, uh, and that's Liberty at High Point for three games Friday through Sunday at 6, 6, and 1, and then Coastal Carolina at Winthrop for a trio of games. And that's 6, 4, and 2. And then the week of baseball concludes with Charlotte at Winthrop. A little regional border battle for the 49ers and the Eagles. And that's actually it. No softball uh, on the streaming uh, schedule this week. And whether or not we have basketball is actually a bit open because uh, there's a chance uh, that Liberty could have another game for us. Just a reminder as far as basketball goes, um, that as we look at the uh, the various sites we have here uh, for the Big South Conference, uh, as we record this, four teams still alive for postseason play in basketball. Uh, the Radford men for the NCAA, they drew North Carolina to start with. Uh, the Liberty women, they're starting with Louisville in the women's NCAA. And then uh, women's NIT has Winthrop. And the new CIT, the CollegeInsider.com postseason tournament for men's play, Liberty is in that, and Liberty's already won their opener. They hosted Ryder, uh, so they've already advanced around. We'll see how everybody else does. Uh, you'll probably know more uh, when you see this than I did when I recorded this because the games uh, go on throughout the week. So uh, good luck to all the Big South squads out there, and hopefully there will be more basketball to come. But uh, as we said, a big week of baseball, and lots of baseball uh, throughout the spring. We've got some track events and softball events as well. Don't forget, you can find us always, BigSouthSports.com. Uh, our YouTube channel, Big South Sports, when you're on YouTube. And the blog, BigSouthShout.blogspot.com. So uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you around next time. Don't forget to look for the Big South Edge Get your Big South Sports by the game, the sport, the season, or the year, the edge at BigSouthSports.com. Thanks, everybody.